Let me talk about what this means for a small business owner like Bill Milliken. Is that it? Bill, stand up. That's Bill right there. Then came the request. For, in exchange for this publicity, I hope that I'm going to get some samples of the beer. With help from the Maine Brewers Guild, Milliken was able to pull together beer from local breweries from Portland to Belfast. They were all placed in a basket bound for the White House. The send-off drew Governor Baldacci and Congresswoman Shelley Pingree, who praised the state's brewers for employing more than 200 workers and pumping more than $200 million a year into the state's economy. We have about 1,500 small craft brewers in the United States. 20 of those, 20 of the best, of course, are right here in the state of Maine. Um, and the Brewers received a bit of good news today. Congresswoman Pingree announced she's co-sponsoring legislation that would cut in half the federal excise tax that craft brewers must pay. That would save a small Maine brewery such as Allagash about $75,000 a year. Of course, and who wouldn't want some Maine beer, right? Now, the serious part of this story is that small businesses under Obama's health care plan are going to begin to see some immediate impacts. For instance, a 35% tax credit You'll be able to take advantage of that right away. Now, Shelly Pingree was on hand today. The congresswoman says she is planning to let all businesses know about how they can start uh, qualifying for that tax credit and how they can get some more information about it. And all small businesses in the state of Maine should be expecting a postcard from our office to figure out how you make it all happen. Reporting in Portland, I'm Diana Ickton. Aaron, back to you. All right, no secret that President Obama likes his beer, huh? <laughs> we all like a good beer. <laughs> <laughs> and some wine. Thanks, Diana. We'll